What the? My heart was pounding and it was scary. Today I'm going to be reacting to a photo shoot from America's Next Top Model where they make the girls become bullfighters and pose with an actual bull. People have called this photo shoot crazy and dangerous. So let's take a look and see what they made the girls do this time. Before we get started, today's video is sponsored by Native. They have a lot of things for personal care. They have deodorants, body washes, toothpaste. I recently went on a trip and out of all the things to forget, I forgot my deodorant. So we landed and I'm like, I couldn't find it in my bag so we had to go to the store. I picked up this Native deodorant. I actually smelled them all, I was like, you know, I did one of those. <laughs> this one is my favorite. It's lavender and rose. I love this because it's paraben free, it's sulfate free, it's vegan, it's cruelty free. They have ingredients that you can understand and you can read. Like coconut oil, shea butter, and they sent me other deodorants as well. This one's citrus and herbal, herbal musk, is that how you say it? And then cucumber and mint and then coconut and vanilla. So actually the one that I got kind of completed it all. Like we got all different scents here. They don't just have deodorants, they have the other stuff. Again, body washes, toothpaste, they smell amazing. I love these scents so much. I can't wait, I've been using them, but I can't wait to use them more and not smell musty <laughs> throughout the summer. Also I have a code for you guys. Three deodorants are normally $36, but if you use my link and code Kobesi, you'll get them for $24. So that's basically 33% off. And with my code, you can also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. So all the information is gonna be in the description. Thank you so much, Native, for sending me all these products and sponsoring today's video. Mr. J doesn't look like a matador at all. He looks like... Mr. J in a matador costume. Oh gosh. Don't I deserve a little more for putting this on this morning? So you don't feel appreciated, Mr. J? Is that it? Well, now you know how the girls feel. He, he walks up in this outfit. It probably took him like 10 minutes to put on. He's like, you guys, yeah, we're about to risk your life, but can you pay attention to what I... Look at this jacket. Look at it. I'm looking good. Welcome to Monumental. This is one of the last remaining active bullfighting arenas. So this is just the perfect setting to do your photo shoot today. But the little catch is today, you girls are going to be shooting with a real big bully. So the judges are going to be in this one? <laughs> okay, chill. Okay, well that's a weird way to introduce him. I didn't say anything. I'm just I'm I'm here as a spectator. A mere spectator. He like he's so proud walking and he's like, "Hey, how's it go, ladies? How was the flight over? Good? Yeah, economy? No, baby, we we flew private. Come on, please." I'm very happy that Nigel's going to be a photographer at the same time. It makes me very, very nervous because he's a judge and he has a lot to say and there's a lot to impress. We decided, you know, with the shot, we can't just have you in wardrobe and a paint. But you, but you could, though. You could. We need a little something else. So you girls are going to be shooting with a ball. Oh, God. No. Nope. Is he chasing them? Oh my god. Not gonna lie. I got scared. Okay, that's the worst way to introduce this photo shoot. Okay, well, just to let you guys know, we're about to let this animal loose. He has sharp horns, like razor sharp. Make a kill you. Um... No warning, just let him, let him out now, now. And then everyone just starts screaming, running for their life. Even Mr. J doesn't even try to hold it together. He's like, bye guy. He like takes the, he's like sprinting ahead of everybody. He had like a little heads up. He knew what was going on. But the girls were like, what is going, everyone's just running. Not a, not a very good energy for the photo shoot to start. I would say a little, a little chaotic, a little chaotic. Could they have, Maybe slowly brought him in. Like, hey, we want you guys to meet Harold. He's the bull for, t for today. Wonderful guy. 
We have some carrots for him. I don't know if the bulls eat carrots. They're not horses at all, but I just feel like they're in this. They're kind of in the same family there. No, they're absolutely not even close. Not gonna lie, I got scared. This thing could kill me. Did you? <laughs> we have people running like they're on the track team away from this bull. The bull just looks angry. He does not look like he's in a good mood. You, why are you? Why are we doing this? Why? The pictures are not worth it to me. I'm a photographer, and even the pictures are not worth it to me. I'll be like, can we do something else? Today we're doing a photo shoot with the bull, and I feel a little bit nervous about it. I'm kind of scared. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm afraid. Okay. Now I'm freaking out a little bit because Nigel is our photographer today. It's intimidating being shot by you know a judge. <laughs> Did you just remove that from your ass from the last pedal? I can't believe she said that. Oh! Damn. She's hilarious. I love her. I love her. Girl, don't hold back, okay? They roast you guys. It's okay if you, you know, say a couple of things. I support you. I can't believe she said that. Carrie D messed up. That's not a good way to start the day because that's one key thing that Tyra's looking for. A girl who can work in this business and be respectful. So you're saying she started off the day wrong, but she didn't you guys bring an angry, raging bull and unleash it on everybody? I'm just, I'm just saying. I don't think it's that serious. The, like I said, they roast the girls 24-7. I think a con, like, the, he's obviously interacting with the models. He was sitting in the middle of everybody, making jokes, having a good time, and she made a comment. Okay, like, I don't see, I thought it was funny. I, I laughed, I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel bad. What do you guys think? Did Carrie D cross the line or did you guys not have a problem with what she said? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Look, he's so mad right now. He's like, how dare she? We're almost getting ready to shoot, but I wanted to talk to you about something while Nigel was inside prepping for your shoot. Okay, the safety aspect, how to safely maneuver the shoe. Is that what we're going to be talking about? Let's see. Carrie D made a statement about Nigel. Hopefully he pulled that stick out of his ass since last judge. <laughs> and that is not a comment you make to a judge. That is not a comment you make to a photographer. Somebody who in the future could possibly hire you. So I want you guys to realize you need to give him some respect. Because he's not only shooting you in a very difficult and dangerous situation, but he's really there to decide your fate as a model. So I'm to make that clear. I'm going to check on where we're at, and then I'm going to pull the first couple of girls out. Okay, so you basically just met all of this to Carrie D. You want, he, he brought the whole group together to make a statement just to her. <laughs> he's like, I think you all should be here. I think that both parties should be respectful, but have the judges cross the line many, many, many times on the show? Absolutely. So do I, do I think she was being malicious? I don't. I don't know, man. I, you know what? I love Carrie D. They, they put her through so much. It's okay if she makes one comment. It's fine. Like, you can't take a joke. Is it, like, am I mad at her for making the comment? Like, no, I laughed. <laughs> and he was hanging out with them, too. I think they had more of a friendly type of relationship. So I don't, I don't think she was being malicious. Mr. J's like, and he has to shoot in this very dangerous situation for you guys. But didn't you guys choose the photo shoot? He doesn't have to do it. It wasn't anything to be mean. It's totally, that's just my humor. Once it was brought to my attention, it did make me worry. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to upset a judge. But if I could take it back, I would. Well, those earrings are so... Dude, I mean, you told him to pull a thing out of his ass. I think that Carrie's worried because she made a comment to Nigel, joking around. It's better to have him on your side than against you, that's for sure. I did bad at the challenge. I didn't make it back until a half an hour after we are supposed to be there. This week has been really shaky, so I'm, I'm kind of nervous. If you hear the handlers yell, run, it's not meant to panic you. It's so that you understand that's your cue. And he's saying all of this as there be, like there's an ambulance behind them. It's like, so don't panic. Yeah, don't worry. They're going to tell you to run for your life. It's really, honestly, just protocol. It's a formality. We have to do it. Like, there's literally, like, an ambulance, like, a whole medical team behind him. 
Listen, if you need an ambulance on set for a photo shoot, maybe it, this is not the concept for you. So, Amanda, you're gonna sit here with me, and Regina, you're gonna go up there first? I was first. If this bull comes to me, I'm running. I'm not thinking twice about it. Forget the photo shoot, because I'm not trying to get bucked by no bull. Hey, Eugenia, hold that stick like a matador's cape. I'm gonna be adding it to your photo later. And Eugenia, you're gonna twist towards me, please? This is your moment. Look at look at the bulls right behind her. He's just waiting. Ha, does anyone have any knowledge about this bull fighting? Is this safe? What do you guys think? If anyone has done this before, just please let us know in the comments. I'm super interested to hear your thoughts on this. Are you going to twist towards me, please? This is your moment. So don't freeze up on me now. Hold it. I just really wanted to get into character and try not to be scared of the bull. I'm glad that you're taking it there. You're taking the risk now. This is when it becomes modeling. This is like the first time I've seen true modeling usually. Can't they just Photoshop the bull in? He's just standing there. You guys are wasting his time. What if he's hungry? What if he, he needs to use the bathroom? You guys just have him out here just to stand there? <laughs> Am I overthinking this? I, like, he looks so cute though, Habib Alba. Look, you're so cute. Haram, they make you do this. To Eugenia's credit, she used her fear. And I love that because that shows that she's a professional model. Even though my life is literally in the bull's hands, I think I might have been a little more nervous working with Nigel because Nigel has a lot more influence over my... My life's in the bowl. Your body's so slim. I'm not not so sure about that. I don't think Nigel has uh, the horns and can run like 100 miles per hour. Is that true? Am I making statistics up about bulls? He looks like he was running pretty fast. Did you see that opening scene? Okay, change it up. Put his legs together and start again. <laughs> what the? <laughs> the heart was pounding and it was scary. Trying to make fashion history here. Do you need a I love how they just go back casually to the photo shoot. Okay, now um, yeah, lift your chin up a little. Like that did that whole thing just did not happen. The bull charging them. You guys are making him angry. Leave him alone. Do you need a second, Amanda? I want to be positive, but it's just it's, it's looking very disconnected. Amanda disappointed me. She felt awkward. It seemed like one half of her body was modeling and the other half wasn't. She needs to get the whole thing together. Light. You got me on my knees. <laughs> the first girl I've crawled on the ground floor. I was inspired by Michelle. She used the fear she modeled. I've got 20 frames left. Oh, hell no. Get her out. That these 20 frames I want to see you really go for it. That's interesting. That is genius. Michelle sold me in the last 20 frames. She did things that came much. <laughs> I love the bowl, like, slowly. He's just strolling past. He's like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, let me take a look here. Why have him there? It could have easily been photoshopped. Have a photographer just take a couple still shots of the bull standing there, empty ring, then bring the girls in, photoshop the bull. There you go. You don't have to bother any animals or do all this, put anyone's life at risk. I don't know. Obviously, it's reality TV. They need that little bit of spice. What, do you, what are your thoughts here? Therefore, she looked like a mom. Thank you. I want arrogance, pride, I want fear. You're holding that, that cape a little too delicately. There you go. Elrose just wanted to impress Nigel and impress me so much that she wasn't thinking. She wasn't engaging herself in the shoot at all. Elrose was just giving us poses. It, okay. Isn't that what she's supposed to do? When is that a bad thing? He's like, oh, she's just giving me poses. Yeah, she's modeling. She's giving you a variety of angles. So I think so far, all the girls on the show do a great job. Okay, they're not professional models. They, leading up to like each episode, they get more and more experience. So from what I'm seeing, they've all been doing such a good job. So, and I think the feedback from Nigel has been great. He's giving them constructive, constructive feedback. The bull... God bless him. He's he's over there just standing around. He literally has nothing to do. He's making stuff up to do. He's like kicking the sand. He's just bored. He's bored. Put him let let the guy go eat and relax. Why are you bringing him out here? <laughs> For me today, Melrose wasn't the star. At this stage in the competition, other girls are all rising. It was 
was absolutely terrifying. I was very terrified. It's really frustrating because I just want to do really well for Nigel. Relax the lips a little bit. Breathe. Wow. You can breathe. It looks like a pinup girl. Throw your what? You're sticking your butt out and you're doing this and it's looking very like porno star. The way Carrie Dean was modeling, she's so over the top. It was just too much. I'm so so it's okay for you to say that about her and say that she looks like a certain type of star, but her joking around, like that's not okay? See, this is what I mean by like, I don't feel bad that she made the joke. Cause she's not being malicious with her intent, but they, like this is not constructive feedback. So it's like, what, like, what was the point of that comment? I'm sorry if I offended you, I was totally joking. Joke or no joke, in the reality of the world, you have to be careful, you know me, you don't know me. Mm -hmm. If you say things that you regret, you know, you put yourself in a position you don't need to be in. Right. Carrie D, clearly offending Nigel, let that get to her. She knew she did a poor job. Was it horrible? I tried to put myself in that spot where the chances of me being limited was like slim to none. And now it's like a really big chance. As a photographer who has seen different types of posing, I have to say Carrie D did an amazing job. She was doing dynamic poses doing lots of different angles, creating shapes with her arms and her legs and doing so many different things. I really don't think that she did a poor job. I think that they're playing up this storyline of, oh, Carrie D said this comment and she did terrible. It's like a double whammy situation. So that's like her posing to me was amazing. She was just joking around, having a good time, but I get it. There's just that line that you don't cross when it comes to a professional work environment. Yeah, so I do agree with Nigel with what he said. Uh, Carrie D was so gracious to apologize. It just shows what a good person she is. I don't think, again, she was trying to be malicious. Love the fact that she owned up to it and she apologized and she talked to him as privately as she could about it. So, I mean, good on her. Good on her. It's not like she said that so that he can go cry himself to sleep at night. Like, you think he's going to lose sleep over that? No. That's a wrap on the bullshit. <laughs> Tell me again why they brought this bull into the photo shoot. What did he do? He just stood there. Get a cutout of him. Get a, Go to FedEx. Get yourself a life-size printout of the bull. And have, a, have it there. You don't have to have the poor guy there. So who was first? Melrose. So you had a photo shoot. There was a little danger involved. Mr. Nigel Barker did the photography that I have to say is absolutely stunning. And there was a lot of artistic digital work that Nigel and the team did to create this photo. And here is your best shot. Wow, okay. So, let me get this straight. You guys photoshopped in the cape and you photoshopped the bull. So why did you have to have the bull there if you're going to end up photoshopping everything? Anyone? <laughs> Again, they just, if you're gonna, like, the bull was not acting like this during the photo shoot. You can tell right here even where they kind of masked it in. So you should have just did that from the beginning. From what I saw, he used natural light and then they had a reflector, like a really giant reflector. So he, I can see that he filled in some of the shadows here. The lighting looks great. The image, I mean, the color toning is nice. It's a cool photo. Wow, the best one so far, best one I've seen. The the masking for the cape, uh, you know, you can literally tell where it was masked in here. It's like feathered a little bit as well. That's like all my years of Photoshop, I noticed little things like that. I wish they would have actually had the girls model with that red cape so it looks more natural. And then they could have just photoshopped in the bowl. You know, they could have just, that would have been actually cooler. Love her pose though. She, she killed this. Okay, that's not bad. I like her leg placement a lot too. Love the green and the red. The masking, it just looks, doesn't look good. You can tell, look where they kind of tried to edit this in. It's not a good Photoshop job. It doesn't even look like, I don't know, it's just kind of messy. That's cool. Um, hand placement, not loving it. Her face is kind of covered with one of the arms. You always want to make sure that you're not, like when you are posing, you give yourself a little bit of distance between your arms and you're not kind of doing one of these. Because it is a far away shot, so you're already losing detail in the face. 
So I think that's like my only thing. Like, what is, what did they do over here? Look at this like terrible feathering. Look at this Photoshop job right here. <laughs> this has become like graphic design critique now. You can just see here where they masked out this fabric. I love how they have it kind of like draping the bowl. And yet there's no shadows here. I mean, whoever did this really tried their best though. I can't hate it. I can't hate it. Yeah, and going through your film can be a beautiful shot. But there was an awkward second guessing thing that I think you, Gina spoke of. When I photographed you, you were second guessing yourself. You'd pose and go. It's like an emotional roller coaster listening to this feedback. It's like you knew what you were doing, but then you didn't know. But you knew when you didn't know you were doing good. But then when you knew you weren't good anymore. So you should do more, less of what you know and do more of what you don't know. And then you'll know but you shouldn't get second guess yourself from what you knew before this. And you're just supposed to be like, absolutely. Can you repeat, can you repeat that whole thing? <laughs> can you say that over? Up next is Carrie D. I wanted to say this. I want to take the time out to say thank you. I can never show my gratitude enough. What? Tyra, she's reading, a, she hand wrote a statement before Carrie D even starts. She's like, hey, good afternoon. Tyra's like, Like, let, let her say her piece. Let her say her piece. I wanted to say this. I want to take the time out to say thank you. I can never show my gratitude enough. Tara, your heart has allowed me to make my dreams come true. I'm sorry if I disappointed or disrespected any of you. I hope you will allow me to carry on. There's something more that I want to do than represent all of you in a good, respectable, classy, fun, responsible way. Okay, that's nice. Okay, can we, okay, can we continue then? She said sorry twice now. I do appreciate you taking the time to write a letter about your mistake with Nigel because I was informed that you said something that was rude and way too crossing the line. Yeah. All of it is accepted, but the reason why we bring this up is that we are the judges, we are photographers, we are yeah. clients, and we don't want someone going out representing America's Next Top Model, CoverGirl, and Elite Model Management who doesn't act with class, dignity, and respect. I just feel really bad the way that they worded this to make her seem like she doesn't have dignity or she's not classy or whatever, whatever he said. So you had a photo shoot in your Wow. This is the second best one. I still think Eugenia's was really amazing. That was my favorite one. This is the second best one. Beautiful body placement. So good. Good job, Katie. And your joke was hilarious. I just got to say, girl, I laughed. <laughs> I see beautiful photography, but not strong model. That was a favorite. It was good, it was fine, but it was intimidating. Sorry, I'm just so... Being in this, co uh, this competition, I'm trying too hard. I feel like overthinking it. I'm trying so hard, it's ruining me, you know? I felt you fell way backwards when I was going through your film. It was like pinup. It really was like... I called it hoochie. When we talked about body shape and, and elegance, I often find with you that you act like you're listening, but you're not really. I don't like the stuff that they say to the girls. They just make them feel terrible. They're great models. They do such a good job. And it, this, as a photographer, as someone who's in this industry, it's sometimes hard to watch. The models start crying, breaking down, feeling guilty like about little things that they shouldn't feel guilty about. It is hard to watch sometimes. As always, she, they only printed out one. One name, guys. You guys know the drill. The girl that I do not call must immediately you gotta go. Return to the house. Return. Security is gonna pack your stuff. And go. You're gonna fly economy, probably. I thought the two of you really thought. Because you guys are the twins. But that's not the case. Not anymore, sis. And I think you know why you both stand before me. You should. Well, you don't, because we haven't told you. you. Has such a natural talent. Okay, well, it's they so both are good. Is it crazy? In the modeling industry, that person that is so gifted. Gifted, okay. Doesn't have a passion for it. it just I don't think that's is. true, but she's in like the final five. The judges look at you and they say, and damn, did they she really might not have a passion for this yet. Did they really say Maybe that? She needs to stand on her own. Mm, she, but she has been. Sister. Well, but they're twins. Yeah. Okay, there's... Girl that yeah. has like driving what? Talent. What are you driving? You don't know. But why is she? Just because you want something, and just because it's a dream. Okay. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're. Doesn't necessarily. Great at it. 
You could be terrible, but you're here. So, here we go. Amanda. Amanda. And this competition passion is way more important than okay. pictures. Well, but the it's a modeling competition for with pictures are the main, there's the whole judging. We want the winner of America's Next Top Model to want it, to feel it, but, to breathe it, to love okay, it. Okay, but, but that's why she's there. She's given up I months of her life. And you are your worst enemy. What? Second guessing, wondering, am I good enough? Is well, this right? Is that right? Because you guys roast her. Let it go. Wow. Trust that. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, Michelle. We love you. Michelle, you're so cute. Haram, her sister's leaving. Haram. Oh my god, I can't see two sisters talking. The two sisters. Cutie. The bull really did not need to be there. He could have been doing something else. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>